Generation DIY uh, YouTuber. The guy's very talented. He dedicated an entire video as to why DIYers who have never tiled before should not use this product. Um, that's me. I'd never tiled before. And I used it with perfect success. I didn't have any issue. Now I did do a lot of research, which I'm basically going to encapsulate everything I learned over a number of hours of research in this video and show you everything you need to know if you've never tiled before, how to use this. What I learned was that this is a really good product, but there are certain things that the manufacturer says that you need to pay attention to. One of them is, one of the issues is color variation or blotchiness. And that can be avoided by simply taking the entire dry contents of the bag, dumping it in something like, I use this, especially just a two gallon bucket, and uh, dumping the whole contents of the bag in there, shook it up really good, and then I took a paddle mixer with a drill and then mixed it up. So it was very thoroughly, all the color portion of it was very thoroughly mixed, and it all came out perfectly consistent. Second issue uh, yeah, with color variation is the water you use. So I took that out of the mix by using distilled water. There are no minerals in it. Uh, different mineral content and different impurities in the water can affect the way the color looks based on the bag. Mine looks exactly like this uh, because I used I mixed the bag and I used distilled water. So there's that. And then uh, how much water you mix, right? Don't mix to a certain consistency. Don't do that. Don't try to guess. You'll wind up adding too much water. It's always going to be too much because it takes time to mix. So this is a 10 pound bag. Uh, the manufacturer says you mix one to 1.1 quarts, which is 32 to 35 fluid ounces. So if you do the division, that's going to come out to per one pound of mix, 3.5 ounces, which you can use, this is like 99 cents at Walmart, and you can get your, your 3.5 ounces per pound. I mixed up two, pound, um, two pounds at once, and I used seven ounces of water, and I had no issues. I was able to get the grout installed, get everything cleaned off, and I didn't have any issue with anything drying too quickly. I had plenty of time, no panic. Um, Additionally, uh, you want to use a scale, right? You just take the bucket and put it on the scale and measure it. Uh, turn the scale on and it's going to zero that out, right, with the bucket weight. And then just pour exactly one or two or three pounds, whatever. And then get your water and put it in there. And you're not going to have any issue. Every batch is going to be exactly the same. Next is do not use a paddle mixer. Uh, mainly because if you're using smaller batches, it doesn't really work anyway. But you need it like a little tiny little, uh, I haven't even seen one. Uh, but it would just be too hard that way. Just use a, you know, a stick or I just used a, you know, a potty knife. And it does take several minutes to mix it up, which I'll show you. Um, but that way, if you, if you mix, like having an issue with the grout drying too quickly, uh, it's because you mix it on high speed. If you mix it on high speed, like if you mix the whole bag and you mix it at high speed, you're going to put so much air into the mix, and air is what helps it to cure quickly. And it's already fast setting, so the guys were having this thing set literally within two or three minutes. It was starting to get hard because they mixed it, and I'll, I'll link that video uh, in the description. So that's that. that. These are the pitfalls that I avoided. That's how I avoided them. I'll show you the job. I'll show you how I mix. Okay.
this point you swear it's never going to mix. Just keep going. Gotta resist the temptation to add more water. So it would be too much. Now eventually now you can start to see it. That's the texture you're looking for there. Spreadable, but not thin. If you do mix it on the thinner side, you just have to mix all of it the exact same way. Finally.